Hi everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Zayton and today I will be showing you how to simulate some anamorphic flares inside After Effects. So this is with um, your normal footage. It would start off sort of looking like that and then you could just sort of automate this so all the lights look like that. This is not the highest quality footage here you can see um, and this was just shot completely normally. These are not super realistic anamorphic flares, but they're better than nothing. And this is without using optical flares or any any third-party plugins. This can be done right inside After Effects. So let's get started. Drag your footage into a new comp. And so here we have our footage. That looks good. Okay, so now duplicate your footage. And on the top one, add a Luma key. Here we go. Just drag that right on there. And then make sure it's set to key out darker. And basically, we're going to get rid of all the dark areas and only leave the bright areas, like the lights. So for now, turn the bottom layer off and maybe make it transparent. So as we do this, you can see that that sort of... Goes like that, then maybe feather it a little, and that looks good. So now, if you play it from right here, you'll see we just have the lights in the shot. And that's all it keeps, only the bright things. Okay, so that looks good. So now we'll just turn on that bottom layer and set the transfer mode to add. So now what we're going to do is add on a cross blur. And this is where our effect really works. Okay, so what this does is it can only blur either the X or the Y axis. So right now we'll want to blur the X axis. And you can see that it's sort of creating that streak. And so maybe try playing with the blending mode, setting it to add, different stuff like that. I think I like multiply on this. And there you go. So you can really use this on a lot, a lot of different stuff. It really just gives it more of a, um, more of a big film sort of look. And then I guess if you want to actually make it look like it was shot on anamorphic, you could add in some widescreen bars too. So we're going to pre-comp this. And I'll be using a preset I got from Video Copilot. You can download it right on their website. It is free. And where is it? It is aspect ratio. Here we go. 2.4. Because this was shot in 16.9 aspect ratio. So now we're just putting on those widescreen bars. Make it look extra official. And... Oh, select your main thing, press the tilde key, make it full screen, I'm going to set it to fit, and you can watch that. Very professional looking. Okay, so thank you for watching this After Effects tutorial. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will try to get back to you. Also, if you have any ideas for future upcoming tutorials, leave those there too. And if I know how to do it, I will try to make a tutorial on it. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.